All right, the last step before submitting it for today, our workday, is to turn on your overlay layers to normal mode, not overlay mode. So you'll see the gray, normal, and then sometimes to take the opacity up as well. And I'm going to do that with the background overlay and my creature overlay. You're required to have one. Turn it to normal and turn their opacity up so you can see what they're doing. And I have multiples. So I'm going to set them all to normal and turn the opacity up so you can see what they're doing. And the reason I have all these this texture overlay on top of it, oh, it's because of my my full thing on top of it. So this is what it would look like. <laughs> and then we're going to save that as a JPEG. So that's what it looks like when you take your overlay layers and you turn them from overlay to normal. If I take them all back to overlay, then it's just showing where my dodging and burning is happening. Yeah, it does have a weird spectral image. So then I'm going to say file export as a JPEG, but I need to change the name so it doesn't overwrite my other JPEG. Don't worry, your PSD is safe. So I'm going to call this my overlay project. And now I have my two images that I can put into canvas into the assignment. So how do I post this assignment? I hit reply. I put my name. I'm not finished with it. This is just one of the three requirements, but we're going to do the other requirements next class. And I'm going to put in first, not my PSD, but my JPEGs. The first one I put in is the non-destructive overlay one, so I can see how you use dodge and burn to help match the, the lighting. And then second is the one where you tried to make everything match with the angle of the anatomy, the angle of the lighting, maybe some texture fills, some image adjustments whatever it took. All right. And then next class, make sure you hit save or reply at the end. Next class, we will learn how to do these other requirements. And then I'll stop that video and then